well we're back at zane's beaver set here in cherry ridge and he's actually gone three for three on this set he's had these the set here three days and he's had three beaver and this is the fourth day and you can see that one of the traps is gone he had his uh two traps bedded right there at the bottom of this spot where they're coming in and out of here and feeding on that brush and the one on the left is gone so i don't actually see it down there but i'd have to imagine there's a beaver stuck to it it gets pretty deep down in there so we'll go ahead and pull it out he had the camera set up here let's see if it was actually set up properly See if we can pull this cord up out of here and see what we got. Oh. Yep, we got another beaver. There it is. Zane, you're four for four. Boy, its foot is really in there too. Okay, now all I'm going to do is reset it just like Zane had it. His one trap is right here. I'm going to set this one that I just pulled the beaver out of right there. Dang, this is a giant full trap. It's a Bridger number three. They're massive. Okay, we got the traps set back in there. You can see there's the one I just reset and the one Zane already had right there. So, see if we can go five for five and the camera's on video mode this time actually. There's the beaver. I wanted to show you these two red fox I shot last night with a 6.5.
really pretty red foxes. I'm going to go ahead and skin them out and get them tanned up. This one's got some pretty dark feet. That one's a little more gray in the back. You can see the Audis are right on the back shoulder of both of them. Really nice looking reds. This one's got a really nice bushy, bushy tail. And they're both males. I'll show you the video of them having getting it last night. But good day on the trap line so far. Zane's doing a good job with those beavers hammering them.